Hey, so I don't know if anybody's still playing this, but here's a fun new uh, thing if you haven't figured it out yet. I was just playing around uh, because I love idle games, but there's a little exploit that you can do now with humans. Well, you could probably do it forever ago. But you know how you have to have certain, like, stats to um, basically level it up with your gummies and whatnot? So basically, if you put points into the stats from your jellies... And you change your um, philosophy as a human. You still get to keep the stats that you put into it. You lose the stats that you get from this. But you can actually put um, the points in and then change it. And still keep the stats. So you can basically get all the stats for the humans. Uh, let me see if I can get some gummies real quick for it so I can show you. But it's pretty ridiculous. I just tried it just now because I had existentialism, which gave me like strength, dexterity, and wisdom. And then I changed it to the cunning uh, one. So when I get my cunning uh, gem, whatever that is, it's going to be a little bit. I'm going to keep it playing until it happens. But um, basically that's what it is. If you just want to hear what it is, I'm going to show it in the video just so we can make sure that it works right. Because I've only done with the one thing so far. But... I'm pretty sure it works because I already did it with that one thing. Uh, buh, 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 buh. But still, you have to have the gummies to like actually upgrade it. But the fact that you get to keep the stat makes it where that like once you put a point into it, you can just get <laughs> go to whatever human like uh, philosophy you want to. So I can get the one points and everything, so I can use my gummies on everything pretty much, and then I can do one of these if I want to. So that's pretty sick, actually. Let's see. So I'm going to do... Once I do the cunning, I'm going to change it probably to stoicism. Or I could do it this. With the one where you don't die as much. Even though if you're playing with one person, it doesn't seem to work as well. So, yeah. I wonder if gems still have no effect. Yeah, that one I'll probably... I don't know how that works. To be honest with you. And I don't know if anybody's ever found this out before or, like, already shared it, but I was just playing around with it. I like to figure out exploits on this game. Like the soup one before the creator changed it. <laughs> oh, I should have ever... Well, yeah. I should have put that in my review, I don't think. Even though I don't know if that's what made him change it, I know that, like, soon after my review came out, it changed, so... Yeah. This might get changed too, but it's not going to be in my review because I've already put my review out there. So, it's just going to be in this video. Uh, might as well do this. Might make it a little bit quicker to get my cunning. Alright, see, we got our cunning now, right? So, I turned to two. And I should technically, and just to make sure you guys can see, I have hedonism, which is the cunning one. So, I'll have one cunning after I change it, but I'll keep that one cunning point I just put in. So, now I'm going to change it to stoicism. And did I have Constitution beforehand? I just want to see if it gives me Constitution. See, I have no Constitution yet, right? And then... Oh, buh, 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 buh. This is going to be a short video, by the way. I just want to show this. Maybe help some people out that want to learn how to do certain things. Alright, so now I have my one cunning point. <laughs> now I have Constitution that I can change. And then what's I point in... Do I have a constitution? I don't have a constitution thing, but if I did, I could put the one point in constitution and I get to keep constitution. And I could forever level these with jelly if I want to. So basically, you can level every stat on humans if you want to, which is pretty sick. Except, for, yeah, all of them actually, because I think you can get every stat, except for initiative. And I don't think there's an accuracy one. Let me make sure. But that's pretty neat, right? I thought that was just pretty cool. I just honestly just figured it out, so I figured out a shirt. And then if you need to have like all those gourmet, gourmet uh, upgrades, you could do this one after you level, put a point in all these. Or you could do whatever you want, honestly. I don't know how this one works. I'm going to check it real quick because I already have scalings. Let's see if my scalings go away. S4AD. Obviously, it'll just be nothing, but I wonder if I get them back if I move it. But again, you do have to have the feathers, feathers to do it, but I mean, that's like no cost pretty much. Because at this point in the game, you kind of like uh, have so many extra feathers in between runs because you can't use them all at once. Okay. Uh, that's kind of weird because I shouldn't have an S naturally. Where do I have an S from? 
DDS. I'm confused. Because even if I got the plus one to all weapon scalings without the gems, I shouldn't have an S in dexterity. Oh, I guess because, okay, yeah, I see. Because I'm a shooting master, I have natural. Okay, that one just sucks. You don't want that. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> that one just seems to suck. At least if you're using one person, you don't want that. Now, if you're probably using a stack of people, then you probably want that. But, yeah. I'm just doing the one person event. Which one did I have it on? I had it on this one. Yeah. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. That's the little exploit I found. Bye!